Hello everyone, this is Mike again. Welcome to part two of my Drum Samples Explained series. Today we're gonna look at the drum sample software out there on the market. Um, so let's dive in and I hope you have some fun. There are two main steps on the way to a decent drum sound, recording and mixing. As I've captured the aspect of recording in part one of this series and showed how drum sample software can save you a lot of work, Mixing is another major hurdle on the way to the sound you want. As you see in the graphic, the two steps, recording and mixing, are equal. This is important to internalize. If your mixing skills are bad, you can even completely destroy all the foundation the professional recording process has created before. Mixing truly is an art, and mixing drums is probably, and unfortunately, one of the most complex and difficult things to do in a band. A drum set is a combination of different in instruments which, with a huge dynamic range, imaging the whole frequency range from the very low end of a bass drum to the shiny frequencies of a cymbal. Therefore, understanding the value and complexity of mixing within the whole process is important as we talk about drum sample software in this video, because it may help you to choose the right software for your needs. But before I start, let me clarify one thing. This video won't be about which software is better, or even sounds better. As music and musical taste is as versatile as different, there cannot be right or wrong at all. Musical taste, and in this case the sound of drums, is a very subjective point of view. Each software available on the market has a different approach. You just have to decide what you really want and what you really need. But I realize that there's a lot of ignorance out there concerning these virtual instruments which leads to wrong judgments. So I try to be as objective as possible. In the end, it's your decision depending on your personal approach, your needs and your skills. There are several companies offering drum sample software or virtual instruments. I will concentrate on the big players only and I won't give an in-depth tutorial of any of them either because this would go beyond the scope of this video and there are tons of reviews and tutorials on the internet. I will put, put some links in the description box below. So there is a Swedish company TuneTrack, offering two versions, Superior Drama and Easy Drama 2, which is kind of a younger brother. Another Swedish company is called XLN Audio. They offer the Addictive Drums series. Third. It's a London-based company called F Expansion and their flagship is BFD in the latest version 3. They also offer some lighter or smaller versions of their software containing less samples and functionalities. And of course, Stephen Slate drums, offered by, yeah, Stephen Slate, a genius American producer, mixing and recording engineer. The latest version is SSD 4, but version 5 is set to be released this summer. Superior Drummer has a core library that comes along with the software itself, containing a custom drum set from American drum company GMS, also included a huge variety of cymbals. All the samples within Superior Drummer are completely raw, meaning you get the pure sounds from the recording without any further processing, despite the character each instrument got by using certain microphones and outboard gear on the recording. You got some snare drums coming along, several toms with different heads, and three kick drums. The drum set is said to be versatile and fits to every genre from jazz to metal. Some of the instruments were recorded with drumsticks and with brushes, hot rods, and mallets. Additionally, TuneTrack offers the most comprehensive mixer section on the market, and you really need at least some understanding of mixing and routing to get the best out of this program. It's no plug and play software at all, but offers the user the most in-depth and realistic sound features. Furthermore, to extend your library, TuneTrack offers several expansion packs called SDX, which means Superior Drummer Expansion. Each of them cover either a specific genre or exceptional location. Last, you can get so-called producer presets either for the core library or for some of the expansions. Mix-ready presets from top audio engineers. 
Easy Drama 2 is an independent program released in 2014. Compared to Superior Drama, it only provides samples in 16-bit instead of 24-bit quality. And the samples itself are pretty much pre-processed to fit instantly. However, Easy Drama 2 became one of the most popular programs on the market due to its flexibility, easy-to-use interface and the great sound quality. ToonTrack offers even more expansions for its Easy Drama 2 software, which are called EasyX, Easy Drama Expansion. The software as well as the expansion packs can be used within Superior Drama. Some of the expansions are just a light version of the Superior Drama expansions, providing less instruments and effects. Beef the 3 is very similar to Superior Drummer due to its extent of samples. It's a very, very powerful and comprehensive interface, allowing to, the user to shape the sound and offering nearly endless options. The core program contains 7 kits recorded in two studios and offering a huge amount of sound shaping effects. Referring to the producers of Beef the 3, the samples were slightly processed after the recording, putting some EQ and compression on it, but the samples are still raw and versatile enough for further production. Using BFD3, you have the biggest selection of expansions on the market. Just like ToonTrack, BFD offers expansion packs to cover different musical styles, genres or famous recording studios. Furthermore, you can even expand your library by purchasing cymbal packs or single instruments like famous snares. And additionally, BFD allows third-party companies to produce samples for their core software, covering some signature sounds from Metallica, Phil Collins or Pink Floyd, so the options are nearly endless. Addictive Drum 2 from XLN Audio, however, offers no core library. The complete series is based on expansions. By buying one expansion pack, the software itself always comes along. Just like the other companies, the expansions always cover a specific genre or a recording location. The samples within Addictive Drums are mostly pre-processed. The principle of each expansion is the usage of presets to serve a certain sound. However, each expansion pack always offers a clean preset where the samples have no further process going on so the user can take the samples and shape them for their own needs. It has a complex and decent mixing editing section where you can put EQ, compression, reverb and other effects onto the samples. The Steven Slate drums quickly became one of the most popular samples on the market. The software pursues a slightly different strategy compared to its competitors on the market. It has a no core library, but comes with an unbelievable 100 preset kits when buying the platinum version of the program. The unique feature of SSD4 are the pre-mixed and processed samples, similar to ToonTrack's Easy Drama 2. Though it contains some more or less raw samples, which are still more processed than the ones within Superior Drama, for example. The majority of the samples are mixed ready to either enhance existing drum sounds, for example by replacing your live drums with these samples, or to build an own kit with just a few clicks of a mouse. Just drag and drop the samples into the interface and you will always get a mixed ready drum set, or at least a good starting point. Steven Slade has worked with some legendary mixing engineers and released some signature expansion packs for his Steven Slade drums, such as Chris Lord LG, Terry Date, or Dave Bendeth. Furthermore, he produced a sample pack that captures the great sound of Blackbird Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. While the Blackbird samples, for example, are pretty raw, some of the signature samples are processed as well to provide a in your face sound right off the box. As I've stated in the beginning, this is no question of good or bad. It's based on your needs and your skills. Let me demonstrate this by choosing the biggest contrasts, Superior Drama and Steven Slade Drums. One providing raw samples and one with pre-mixed ones. I've loaded Superior Drama and chose the Progressive Foundry SDX, the latex expansion pack, tailored for rock music. 
The Progressive Foundry, just like every TuneTrack library, is raw by default. So I load up the Perl Masters Kit, and this is how it sounds. So the sound is okay, but it lacks of punch, body and room. It just sounds kind of thin and don't have that pro sound you're used to hear on your favorite records on the radio. Always remember, mixing drums is as important as the recording itself. So within Steven Slate drums, I browse through the presets and I'm going to choose uh, a preset called Slate's Custom. So let's hear how that sounds. The difference is drastic. Now I load a preset within Superior Drummer using the same Per Masters like before, which will load up all the processing within the mixer channel. Let's take a listen. So let's have a look what was going on to demonstrate the different approach of these programs. This is the kit within Steven Slate Drums that I used for this video. Now I'm going to clear the kit and will just load the snare from that particular preset. As you hear, it's punchy, cracky, and has a nice reverb. But when we look at the mixer section, you will see no EQ, no compression, no plugins at all going on. It's just two channels, the snare itself and the room mics, which can be adjusted to your own taste. All the work you need to gain a snare like this was made by Steven Slade and his team. Just pick the snare and you're ready to go. Same for the kick.
and you can choose lots of snares, toms and kicks. Now let's check the mixer channel of Superior Drummer. As you see, there are way more channels to choose and to work with. So just for the comparison, I solo the three snare mics and the room mic, just enabling the snare samples. Still quite a difference. When I now load a preset, you will see what's going on here. There's a cue, compression, bus routing, some transient designer, filters, stuff like that. A lot of work to do, depending on the sound you want to achieve. So there's software like BFD, Addictive Drums or Superior Drummer that gives you the full control over the sound allowing you to do the whole mixing process from start to, to the end, with Superior Drama being the top of the notch. Of, your, of course you can choose some of the presets that come along, but for me they are more of a starting point. But they work, so when you want to dive into the mixing process, make sure you pick a software that delivers some presets and a decent variety of instruments and samples. Or you pick something like Easy Drummer or Steven Slate Drums, which provide great pre-mixed and processed drums that simply work and cut through your mix. They offer some less flexibility, because what you hear is what you get. And it's quite impossible to mix a snare back from a quacky one to a natural sounding one. But as I said several times now, it's not a question of good or bad, but of your approach and requirement. So that's it. Uh, I hope you find this one helpful. Uh, I'm pretty sure I forgot some of the aspects because this topic is really, really complex. Uh, anyway, if you made it up to here, uh, thank you very much for watching this one. Um, I will continue doing this series. Um, if you have any questions regarding drum samples in general or uh, about this video, please leave a comment below. I would really appreciate that. So again, thanks for watching. Happy drumming and see you soon.